welcome back to another episode. Uh, and this one we're actually going to do an inspection. So on uh, off the last videos, kind of talked about what to wear, how to get your smoker ready, some do's and don'ts. And now we're actually going to get into an inspection. Now, previous videos also talked about uh, taking notes, right? It's important to start taking notes or always look at your notes uh, prior to starting an inspection. Again, there has to be a reason to be into the hive. You don't want to bother the honeybees unnecessarily. So in this case, this is a Russian honey uh, bee in here. And so uh, obviously blue is the, the tag that allocates that color for us, at least in our apiary. And so we want to see how she's doing, how her brood pattern's working out. And that's kind of our idea. Now, you might go in with an idea, but you still want to check things off your list in every inspection. So one is, how's the food sources doing? Are they bringing uh, ample sources of nectar and pollen? Um, is there a good variety of house bees to forager bees? Is there um, obviously a nice brood pattern from eggs to a larva to pupa to uh, obviously uh, hatching? I mean, is everything looking well? So really it's about reading the frames, which we'll talk about in this video. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and obviously smoke them in the entrance here. I'm also gonna do a few puffs of smoke underneath here. So obviously the Russian uh, honeybee was uh, obviously imported by the Department of Agriculture. Uh, so they're really nice, obviously they're not nice resistance to a Varroa. And uh, so this is a nice purebred one in here. So again, we wanna see how that's doing uh, in, in the apiary. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the lid. And again, there might be a few bees here. You also wanna check for any type of issues. So like here, you can see we have some pincher bugs. Now again, there's only a few here, but again, these are all things you want to do. The honeybees have enough issues as it is uh, with Varroa and weather, uh, any other issue might uh, be too much for them. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and do a smoke again into the entrance right here. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm looking for the queen on this end. Can't find her, I'm gonna put it down in the center here. And we have some uh, foundations framed that take out the frames from the outside. Typically in this case, they're all empty, so that's that's good. I'm gonna keep my hive tool in front of me if possible. Okay, this should be fine. Pl plenty of space now. All right, so the outside, remember as we talked about in other videos, the outside is going to be the uh, pollen and nectar. And so I want to see obviously in the outside most frames, how is honey sources doing? This one is doing okay. A little light. We have a nice, uh, some pollen in here. We're having some, obviously, uh, you can see some nectar in the top area here. Hasn't been capped yet. So they have an okay source of food you can see it shining there in the sun a little bit so they're they're bringing in nectar which is a a good sign right now and right now obviously is there is a uh, flow on so that's good for us okay i do not see uh, the queen here a lot of times she won't be on the outside frame she could but she's sometimes not so i'm gonna go ahead and go into here there's some nice black bees here, so that's that's awesome. So that's going to be helping us here. And I'm also looking here again, more nectar. We have drone size cells. We have different colors of pollen. I see eggs on the very bottom of the cell. It's hard to see there, but if uh, maybe we can get a shot there. On in this area, you can see. It is hard to see, you have to get the sun right behind you. But uh, there are some eggs there, very, very tiny. And if, we'll make sure to get a, a shot of uh, some pictures here. So again, I'm looking here and uh, she's been in here. She replaced another queen. So I'm not necessarily looking at brood pattern right now. The spottiness is obviously, eh, it's not great. But in this case, again, it's a newer queen to replace another queen. So there's gonna be some overlap here, so. Okay, and this should be a marked queen. So I'm just trying to go as, as fast as possible, but also I'm looking for all those things. What's the bounds? There's always going to be some bounds 
of honey and pollen. So on the outside uh, of the frames, especially brood frames, you're going to see this uh, boundary of honey and, and pollen. That, that should be evident when you have some brood frames. So you can see they're they're okay. They're they're pretty docile still. I am just going to go ahead and just because I'm just going to go one little smoke again. But again, is they seem pretty pretty gentle right now. So that's really nice. Okay. Again, some nice rows. I can see the brood pattern is really nice uh, because you can see that the eggs that she is laying is in a very nice pattern. She starts from the center and she works her way outwards. So you're gonna see from the center is gonna be uh, older bees and outwards is gonna be the younger bee, uh, the younger uh, brood. Okay. I haven't seen her yet. Nope. And a lot of times when, when you're doing breeding or if you're obviously buying a queen from someone else, um, it, it's always nice to get, uh, keep the hive a little smaller because it's hard, sometimes it's hard to find the queen as, um, as the, the colony grows. Sometimes the ones uh, mark them and that's a, obviously a choice. We try to like, we like to mark ours just to make it makes it a lot, a lot easier here. But I can see uh, uh, some Italians. I can see some Russians in here. So it is a hybrid currently because the old queen was uh, Italian. The new queen is Russian. So and I do not see her here. I know she's in here because I see eggs. And so in this case, just for the video purposes, you don't have to always find the queen. But in this case, for the video, it might be nice to at least show you guys uh, the, what the queen looks like in case you guys are trying to trying to find it yourself. And sometimes it's tough if your 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 queen is marked. Sometimes you're looking for the mark, but actually you should be just looking for, in general, a queen. And so in this case, I went through the whole colony. I did not see the queen. Uh, and sometimes this you just have to go right back into it. And and again, you want to try to keep the inspection slightly uh, short, especially if you're get, getting hot outside. Ah, here she is. Uh, she was in a cell. So you can see right here that dot. Really nice. Uh, Russian right there. You can see her. So she's inspecting a cell. She's putting your butt right into the cell. Laying a leg and she goes right away. See how quick that was? Only takes a second or so. So you can tell she's very active and uh, we'll, we'll let her be. So we saw the queen. Uh, we saw the eggs. We know this is a healthy colony. Uh, I've also saw uh, honey and nectar, uh, or nectar, uh, capped, uh, capped nectar, which is of course honey, uh, pollen. So we have a, a plethora of things in there. I'm confident that this collie is doing very well. And so now it's time to just let, let them be. I'm gonna go ahead and put this. If you are using foundation frames, again, if you're using foundation, not a problem. But for us using foundations, again, you always want to push these together. Push these together, making sure, because cross combing is just, I don't know, it's like the worst thing ever. <laughs> so, okay. I will also put down a slated board in this case, since I'm already here, this helps with ventilation. Today's gonna be about 103 degrees here. And so I do wanna uh, have a slated board just in case. I will go ahead and prop this open. Just gently on here. And you can see here, really nice. You keep it fairly clean. So this is a good, this is a good uh, mark on the bottom board if you ever look at it. Uh, it this is actually fairly clean for, for a colony. Um, if you see a lot of debris, uh, you really want to, it's kind of a sign that, mm, you know, maybe they're not as hygienic as uh, you would like. So we like to make sure that our colonies uh, keep their hives very, very clean. So, okay. Again, upside, put your inner cover on. Telescoping lid on. Okay, 
And there you go. Now, before you leave, what do you do? Take notes, right? You always want to make sure you take notes. And so uh, I have a phone here that I'll take notes on. And so if you have a book, whatnot, what you saw, right? How was the, the food sources? Did you see the queen? Did you see eggs? How was the brood pattern? All those things help you identify. And if something goes wrong in the future, you can go back and look over those notes to kind of educate yourself in what happened and what you can do to correct the matter. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Again, thank you again for joining us on your journey and happy beekeeping.